I found some info on Wesley Chapel the other day that I thought you might want to hear about. Every realtor in the Bay Area has been talking about Wesley Chapel. Most of the country should by now know where it is. One of the bigger attractions to the living in the Wesley Chapel area is the lagoons. Yeah, lagoons. Complete with sandy beaches, water sports, swim up tiki bars. And now there are two lagoons. If you haven't heard the latest gossip about the one, well, you're about to become one of the in crowd. Let's talk. First, a little house cleaning. If you are new to the channel or just don't know me yet, which would be, you know, really unusual. My name is Mike Lavoy. I'm a realtor here in the Tampa Bay area. Obviously, if you are looking to buy or sell real estate in the Bay area, we'd love to talk to you. Our office phone number is right down here. So what's the big news about? You've more than likely heard all about Epperson Ranch. Even I have a video about Epperson Ranch made about, I don't know, two or three years ago. On the north border of Epperson Ranch is a newer lagoon community with even a bigger lagoon. It's called Murata. Both lagoons are man-made. They are very large pools. Epperson Ranch is seven and a half acres. Murata is about 15. They are both pretty cool. Clear blue, fresh water. That's no salt to stick to you. Sandy white beaches. Lots of things to do. A swim up tiki bar. Food. It's like going to Clearwater Beach, but instead of driving for two hours, you take your golf cart five minutes to get there. Murata is the newer of the two, and it has the advantage of having a separate active adult community, a 55 plus neighborhood. That 55 plus neighborhood has its own facilities and it's gated off from the rest of the community. Because of that, the community is known as a multi-generational, and that model is becoming very popular. There's another one being about built about 20 miles west over in Land Lakes. It's called Angeline. Miranda has several builders. The main one is going to be Lennar, but there are other entry-level builders in there, such as Horton and Miranda Homes. These homes are priced from the $200,000 mark for the, two, for the townhomes up to the low $400 for the larger single-family homes. These builders offer a lot of home for the money, but to do that, they have to cut corners and build homes that are very cookie-cutter. They're called buying homes as is. These homes are pre-designed by the builder. The builder picks out and designs the colors and the finishes a full year before the builder even puts a shovel into the ground. They buy the parts for the house in bulk six to eight months before construction starts to get better pricing. They tend to use lower quality materials like cabinets in the kitchen. The countertops, especially those in the bathrooms, are usually a laminate. They use pre-made drop-in showers and baths instead of putting up tile. Most entry-level home builders do this and there is nothing wrong with it. It keeps the cost down and in the end, are able to price the house for a larger number of people. Miranda has a couple of luxury builders now. There, one of them is Biscayne Homes, and the other one is Homes by West Bay. These builders are semi-custom builders. The buyer will often get to take a visit to the design center where you can pick a lot of the interior finishes. Change or add plug locations, I don't know, pick drawer pulls. These visits to the design center are fun and exciting. I mean, you are designing your home, but before you get that far down the rabbit hole, keep in mind everything, and I mean everything you add to that house or change to that house, costs you money. Design centers are flat out expensive. You can easily add 25% to the price of the house just in the design center. I have a video on what to do and what not to do in the design center. Biscayne and Westway both built very nice homes, but between the $400 entry level homes and the six of $800,000 luxury homes, there's just not much to buy there. Beginning in July of this year, that's going to change. Homes by West Bay started what they consider an entry-level home. I think it was in 2019. That division is called Casa Fresca. Like most entry builders, their, their target pricing was $300,000 to $400,000. They named that series of homes the traditional series. Pretty original, right? Traditional. Casa Fresca built these entry-level homes with some upgrades that weren't available on other cookie-cutter homes for its countertops in the kitchen and the bathrooms. Better quality kitchen and bathroom cabinets. Little things, but those things they'll, they'll all add up. A couple of months ago, Casa Fresca introduced their newest series. They're gonna call it Bold Series. Over in Bel Rico at Hawkstone. Last week, I got an invitation to come up to Murata to preview the Bold Series homes that they're building up there. So, what did I find? Casa Fresca, since its inception, has had a very unique exterior not the normal solid stucco from top to bottom. 
This is the five bedroom, four bath Coquina at just over 3,300 square feet. It offers plenty of room. Inside of the house, one of the first things you're gonna notice is the nine foot, four inch ceilings. Size does make a difference. Just to the left of the entry door is the first of five bedrooms. And a full bathroom, which is where the Bold Series upgrades start, like the shower, frameless flash doors, and that really unique tile on the shower walls. The other upgrade here is the thicker quartz countertops. Casa Fresca entry level has much thinner countertops than other entry levels that use, you know, pretty much glue on laminate. The Bold Series has the quartz, thicker quartz in the kitchen as well. Some people, not necessarily me, spend a lot of time in that kitchen, so Let's go take a look at this one. I mean, in a word, it's nice. It's a huge open area with a kitchen, dining area, and great room all within sight of each other. It's pretty great for entertaining. Upgraded slide-in ovens, stainless steel appliances, a huge breakfast island. Take a look at this huge walk-in pantry. One of the carryovers from the standard level of Lux Casa Fresca home is the luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout the home. It's pretty much indestructible. The other feature I really like is, especially at my advanced age, is that the master bathroom and bedroom are on the first floor. The same floor as my morning coffee. In the bathroom, you find a standalone bathtub, usually reserved for much higher priced homes. Again, a frameless glass shower enclosure with that same tile on the wall and nice looking tile on the floor. Dual sinks with the thick quartz countertops. and a huge walk-in closet. That's very nice. Let's take a run upstairs. At the top of the staircase is a huge room for entertaining. You got little games, watching TV. Both of the upstairs bathrooms match the downstairs with dual sinks and a quartz countertops. The tub shower are finished off with tile and luxury plank flooring in the in the bathrooms. Most entry level homes don't finish the secondary bathrooms off like this. And of course, the remaining bedrooms. There are five in this configuration, but there is a sixth bedroom option if you need it. The homes being built in Ramada and the Casa Fresca's Bold Series are going to have a lot of upgrades normally found in second tier homes. I mean, tile roofs, paper driveways, and a much more distinctive interior. In Ramada, these homes are going to fill the price gap with homes that start in the high 400s, getting into the high 600s. Right now, they're offering some fantastic deals with mortgage rates as low as 4.99%. Yeah, that's on a 30 year fixed. If you want more information on Casa Fresco or any of the new construction homes in the Bay Area, give us a call. The number's down below. We've helped, I don't know, hundreds of people buy a home in the Tampa area and would love to help you. Thanks for watching and, oh, by the way, if, if you haven't already subscribed now, would be a great time to do that. Thanks. Talk to you later.